Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at Farming Simulator Mods. Now on FS17 you just scroll onto Mods and that takes you to the Mod Hub. And then you scroll down to, that's what we've got installed at the moment. So let's go and find some mods. If we click on the latest. Now on FS17, since FS19 has been released then there's not many mods that I've noticed are available and for some reason it won't load them there they go so you have got quite a few mods for FS17 though and there is a few things we haven't got on FS19 at the moment so it's easy as we want the Adrant pack and we want Lone Oak so you click on that click on the install that just downloads it in your list you can see there it's going up 10% 20% and then we do the same with the map so we do a lone oak and click on that now the map will take longer so you do have to wait for them to be installed before you go into the game because otherwise they won't be there so we just wait for that to be installed right so that's installed and as you can see there is a huge list for fs17 anyway there is there's loads and loads there but the downside is with FS17 you uh, you can't lease anything you have to buy everything whereas FS19 you can lease so we come back to the main page and now we click on installed and you see I've already got installed Mercury Farms and Lone Oak it shows it there and sometimes it does the same on FS19 is it's not installed but it is it's in the list now to use these mods, so we want to use the Adjurant Pack and Lone Oak Farm. And it's got all your different categories in here for your different implements like your objects, trailers. But we don't have a search on FS17. So then we go up to Korea. And when you click on, and this is, it says DLC, but this is where your mods are. This is where you can select and deselect. So we've got the Adrenaline pack. Now you have to select this. Don't hit the start button. You need to press the square button, which is the select to tick that. So the whole idea is that if you don't want certain things for certain games, you can deselect them. It does remember what you've done as well on the previous game so when you come back in it does save it so we've got the Adjurant pack selected and you go into the game and it will be in the shop right so we're in the game and we go into the shop and we are looking for trailers which so should be under the tippers and when then when we scroll over there you have it says Adjurant and it's also got mod underneath so you know it is a mod but make sure you select it if you don't select it it won't be there if it's not there that's normally the main reason why so that's how you install them from the mod hub into your game and this section we'll have a look at Farmers Simulator 19 so you click onto the mods which is in the middle click on that and that brings you into the first menu and the first menu is all your different categories and you see all the orange ones are updates and the green ones are mods now at the moment it only shows that's showing all mods if you push the L3 and then it shows uh, the different selection it is a bit pants to be honest how, how they've set it all up the first one is your maps and to download them you just click on what you want and it downloads so we were here with FS19 Dal Ranch click straight onto it and you see you got install so hit the install you got to make sure there's enough system storage you see down there in the bottom corner on mine it's 89% it's always high I've got to get rid of a lot of mods 
where I've got too many from doing new mods that I haven't deleted them I plan to do a video on them but now we've got too many so I've got to get rid of them it's a bloody nightmare so easy as that that's clicked on now you can see that's that's actually downloaded now now when it's downloaded it will be in your installed so you click on to the next category which is the R1 button and you see this is all my installed mods and there's the new farm installed there click on that and you can and that's how you uninstall it if you need to get rid of it come back it's a bit slow because I've got too many in here that's another thing to bear in mind is only download mods you're gonna use if you not keep them get rid of them because it slows everything down anyway and there's no point having them in there so next we go on to the update which any updates appear on any of the mods will show up here so you can do the same thing again we've got an update on the Ursus click onto that and you've got the rate update or an install so let's update that and it's been added and that's quick there it is bang that one's done and then we go on to download there's no content available you've got our downloadable content now this is all your different DLCs now to be honest the easiest way if you're using DLCs is just to go into the PlayStation shop and buy it in there and just install it that way because a lot of time when you do it from through here it doesn't work sometimes whereas if you go to the store you it'll always work not a problem if you've got the season pass you will get all the DLCs now in the FS19 you do have the search function which is quite good so you press the square button and then it comes up with a search now you want to put in exactly how it says on the mod ideally it has got better when it first started it you had to be word perfect for it to find it but it has got a little bit better so I'm going to put in FMF which is Mercury Farms and there's a placeable pack by Alien Jim and you see it says no content and you're like right okay that's because it's on the downloadable content you have to go over to either the latest or the best or on the front page so we do it on the front page put in M F and search and there it is there is the MF shed pack and also it's the Massey Ferguson skidder by Black Sheep Modding so if there is a specific mod you want now on all my videos I go into the mod hub in the first section of it so if there's a mod you've seen you will see it at the first bit start of the video and you can scroll scroll over and then just find out what it says where you can see the, that MF pack well we look at the the Rao Unimat it's all in capitals so you put all that in capitals and you should be able to search for it it should find it I'll tell you what let's do it in not capitals because before it would not find it Rao Unimat 660 and will it find it it has so they have updated it so as long as you put in the name it will find it which is a great way to find any mods because if you go on to the other categories like the best and the most downloaded it doesn't list every mod here they're not all here see it only scrolls over so far we've got just over 300 mods and there isn't 300 here so if you're scrolling along thinking well where is it just do that search and you should be able to find it especially if you get the name of it off the front page of my videos for new mods and then we come on the next category where it is the best where I, I take it it's meant to be the most downloaded mods available which there are a few for FS19 now there's getting on for about 300 or so and then you got most downloaded and then we click over to the, to the latest so this is the one you want now if you come into here and you see you push the button and they disappeared where well, that was showing all top mods now this is show now it's on the reverse it says show all mods you click on now it's showing all mods and then you click on again where it says L, L3 show top mods only and it shows top mods so it's 
reverse frame the wrong way at the bottom there. So downloading the mod is exactly the same. So we want to download that one, go on to it, click on jobs again. That's it. There it is, download. We'll do the next one. That's been added to the list, and all you do is click on what you want to download. Easy as that. So that puts it into your your mod hub, really. It is your mod hub, well, into your mod category. Anyway, I'll show you that now. So we go back over to, come on, flick over, there we go, installed, and you can see these are the latest mods I've just installed. But now they're installed, you've still got to put them into the game. And we're going to start a game on that one, and it's going to be New Farmer, and it's that one. And then we come on to the mod section. Now, this is what it's all about. And you can see I have got an extensive list because I've got far too many mods, and I haven't got round to deleting them. I'm going to probably uninstall fs19 and do it that way because there's so many and then just put the ones i want so all these ones selected at the moment because you've got to be careful when you go into this menu don't push the x button because pushing the x it loads in and then you're like oh i haven't selected the mods so we're still scrolling down trying to find the mods where are they Right, so we scroll down and you can see there's one of the mods we selected today, the FS09 Doghouse. Now you've got to select that, make sure it's ticked. Now if you have got a lot of mods like I've got, and you're not going to go down and tick every box, you just do the select all. And you can deselect or select all. So that's it, you've got every mod there is. So if we go into the farm, so that's loaded go into the game so now we're on Dar ranch so we go into the shop and we will go to the placeable section because we've got a dog house which should be under no it won't be under decoration animal pens it'll probably be under no it won't yes it is there it is there so that's the mod we selected, the FS09 mod, and you see every time it is a mod, it shows underneath and shows you it is a mod, simple as that. And at the top is your slot count, that's what you've got to bear in mind about at the moment, that's 518, and you've got to watch your slot count. If you want to know about slots, then go to my, I've got a slot count video. So go into install mods, let's go back to the main menu. We go back to the main menu, I'll show you how to uninstall mods. So we're back on the main page again. If you go to mods and then you click on, scroll over on the R1 button and this is mods installed. And you see we've got the dog house there, you just click on that and uninstall it. Now you can rate it as well on FS19, You can you, on 17 you have to do it on the modhub.com. But here we can actually rate it. So you can rate that mod successfully rated. And then you can uninstall it if you don't want to. You uninstall, easy as that, it's done. And then that comes out of your installed list. But just bear in mind, don't have as many mods as I've got because everything's really, really slow. Right, the last thing to go into with mods is on the multiplayer. Now this does prove to be a pain in the ass. For me, it's not a problem as I've got all the mods. Now, when you click on to, here's all your different server games, and you can see all the ones that they've got the explanation next to it, which shows that that's, you need certain mods. So if we picked on to that one, click the details, and then it says, you do not have all the required DLCs. And this is the problem we have with FS 17 and 19 that if you're playing with friends try and make uh, what I do is I we send we send a, we set up a message messages and we just send new messages every time we've installed new mods 
and then that way we, we've got an idea of what everyone's got because if you haven't got the same mods you can't join the same game like we click on that and it won't let you you do, do not have all the required DLC so don't get too slap happy with the mods because if you're not using them then get rid of them because if you're playing multiplayer it will stop you playing a game and let's click on to that one and that one's yeah you can see garage with workshop trigger I haven't got that and the bunker silo I haven't got that so any ones in red they have actually changed it now the ones in red are the ones what you need to to join that game it is quite a bit of a pain in the ass so just bear that in mind if you're having trouble with multiplayer uh, the easiest way to, to join multiplayer is not to have any mods selected so if you're hosting the game when you go in into the game and you hit the mods just deselect them and then you can be on the mic and say to whoever it is and just copy the ones you need to and then you can join that existing game so I think that is about it for covering mods for FS17 and FS19. I hope you've enjoyed this little insight into how it all works. It is quite simple, but there's a few little pitfalls with the multiplayer. And if you're not using them, uninstall them because you're not. If you're not going to use them, like I've got over 300, and I'm probably not going to use. There's 250 here. I'm not going to use so. Right, well, if you've enjoyed this episode and found it helpful, don't forget to give me a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and you will see more content. You won't miss any new content. Thanks for watching. Till the next time, goodbye.